I'm always drunk in San Francisco. I always stay out of my mind. So this is coming into San Francisco. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge down there. This is an awesome place to come visit if you've never been to San Francisco. It's a beautiful town. It's a beautiful part of uh, Northern California. Uh, this is the airport. <laughs> you can see there's nobody there. I was shocked. Uh, it's really sad what California is doing to small business. San Francisco, Petaluma, all those towns, the amount of business. Have you ever seen an airport bathroom empty? Yeah. Anyway, I had a really good time there. Uh, I stayed with Lauren Morelli. He's the one I'm buying the Peterbilt from. He lives up uh, above the city of Petaluma in the hills, has a beautiful place there. Uh, it's been in his family for a long, long time. That's Lauren. Uh, we sat by the fire there and may or may not have had some cocktails. Anyway, we had a really good time there. I want to thank Lauren and his wife for letting me stay there. It's a, it was a beautiful place. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the views are just fantastic at night. Anyway, if you've never been to San Francisco, make sure you go see Alcatraz, take a boat cruise around the, underneath the bridge and the island. Uh, but make sure you take a jacket, because I'm here to tell you what, it's chilly down by the bay, uh, even in the summertime. I can tell you that myself. This is Vic Chapetta, and that's how I, let, I met Lauren and got acquainted with Glenn Gelatius through Vic. And uh, here we are giving you the big old California howdy. <laughs> uh, this is Junior on the left, and that's Lauren Morelli right there. And I'm trying out that TD25. I look good on that, don't I? And uh, this is Michael Melton. He's the one hauling the Peterbilt home. Awesome guy. So let's go work on the Peterbilt and see if we can get it fixed. Boy, these bolts, ain't, these, they're not very tight in these. But I guess they don't really need to be. They're not leaking. No, one video on, on YouTube, the guy had, he said he, I don't know if it's the same one you watch, it might be, where the guy took the, uh, that little and he made it too big. He said that. He said, I made the hole a little too big and he was trying to get the right O-rings. Yeah. And I don't know if that's the same one you watched. No, I just, the only one I watched that I had to giggle about was, he, the motor was just filthy black and dirt, grease everywhere, and he pulled all these out. Then he went after it with a brake clean and, the, and a blow gun, and the holes were open. And I just sat there, and I went, oh, you got to be kidding me. Blowing all that stuff in there? You want to dry off the block, too. Take one of these socks. Oh, to clean this oil off? Yeah. I hope one comes out in pieces. What are the odds? I would have never figured a plastic chingaderas like this in there. <laughs> I mean, look at how weak it is. That's got to be where it's going to break. I've got to get my hand in and get, get a hold of it. You want a screwdriver? Yeah, uh, you got to get these on it to get it started. Ooh, this one's going to come out easy, I think. It's kind of funny, the new ones went in easier than the old ones want to come out. Well, that one guy was saying something about the O-ring mm. sizing, but he said he f***ed up when he cleaned the holes out when he rebuilt the motor. <laughs> some of them get called on their bullshit, some of them don't. When you see some of those videos you watch on different things, I've been watching a lot of them lately, the, the guy's getting all kinds of praise and he's a f***ing dumbass. <laughs> Now the big cam twos, threes, fours, fives, when did they stop? Four or five? Four. Four, okay, so do they have the same type of a cooling nozzle? They didn't have them, do they? It's a different engine. Well, uh, Frank Cunningham told me that the last of the, well, they called them a, the STC, that they had these. That one's still intact. Yeah, it looks good. These should be replaced often anyway, if they are trouble givers. Oh, Lord. It takes a lot to break it. <laughs>
It. <laughs> That's probably not our problem. It no. It, it, I doubt if it is. Otherwise, he would have done something. I mean, if, but, it, if it was a problem on him. But the Steve Drew guy was no shyster or no. Don't, don't you think Cummins would have updated those? So let's look at the part number. Four hundred five eighty nine forty seven. Yeah, these new ones are the same part number as the old ones. Well, if Nellis was. You know, I know he had no reason not to tell me the truth. This motor was doesn't have that many miles on it, okay. but he did say it never had great oil pressure. So he took all the piston cooling nozzles out. Not one of them was broke. Um, so that's not the issue with the oil pressure. So we just put her back together, and uh, Mike's going to be here Wednesday or Thursday to pick it up. So that's awesome. I showed up about the right time. So anyway, we're just uh, checking things out. Lauren has a beautiful place here. They grow a lot of grapes on his ranch. So Jeff is the owner of a Peterbilt. <laughs> cool truck. I love this. It's a really, it's in really good shape. It's just a dirty shame. California won't let him run it anymore. And I see that happen a lot here. A lot of trucks leaving the state, going somewhere else.
down here to the junction uh, to get loaded up. Mike's going to be here in a few minutes. Couldn't get him up here. By the time he loaded the truck up, he'd be, uh, there's some trees that I think he'd take the cab of the truck off. Got a good Jake break. <laughs> him right here. Okay, Mike's got some rollers on there and he's got to move them up to the front of the trailer so Lauren came down with his skip loader and his forks so we could move that up to the front of the trailer. Okay so after moving the rollers uh, there was some low hanging trees where he came in and we opted to go to the uh, Petaluma airport to load the truck up, so that's where we're headed next. You're filming right there. Yeah.
He's probably going to go pick up 37. Bye-bye, Peterbilt. Winter, I showed up after I came home. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether we can get the Peterbilt started when he gets here because it's got 50 weight in it. Not probably gonna run when it's cold. Might have to just air it up and pull it off. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> but Griffin's been playing Mr. Plow with me this morning. He's having a blast. He drives a roll purple Peterbilt and he don't care how people feel about it.